Hi, Brandy. Brandy is reporting. Reporting for CNN. This is Bill Garrett. Coming live from Los Angeles, California. We are uh, currently right now stationed right in front of the uh, city courthouse in Los Angeles where they have their own... Uh, they have their own Occupy Wall Street movement going on right now in Zuccotti Park. On this adventure today, we're going to go see if it smells like urine over there. We're going to go find out if these folks are interested in some jobs. I saw there's a really good job on Craigslist for uh, in Ohio. Uh, ranch hand. Yep, and they really would like it if you don't have any family at all. So... Uh, and then you just move to Ohio and they give you a job as a ranch hand. And no one hears from you ever again. Okay, let's go over and introduce ourselves to these fine people. Los Angeles, California. Hello. It uh, seems to me the first protesters I see are, they're protesting regular clothes. And they are dressed in extravagant costumes. Go so, yeah. we'll get it. Go get it. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Good. 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 Not too bad. How are you guys doing today? Good. Yeah, great. great. We're melting in the sun. Yeah, you're that. a little pale. Yeah. Well, yeah. You need some sun. We gotta. I'm gonna go occupy something. Time to. Don't take pictures. That fucking guy. He's tough. He'll mess you up. I'm burning up over here, huh? Boy. Oh. I don't smell urine. I smell like patchouli. That's all I smell. Good guys. <laughs> I love it. I just came up the song last night. <laughs> Hippa! What does this Occupy movement mean to you? It means everyone finding a unity through all the discretion and hate that we have between one another and just showing even police departments, fire departments, even the government workers, that we're all on the same level, and in the end, we're all gonna be in the same position, needing each other. And if we can't le learn it now, our whole society is gonna crumble upon itself, sir. I agree. What do you think of the music? I think this is the most beautiful thing I have seen come in here. This is like a bunch of banded gypsies, brother, and pirates, and, and they're beautiful. It's a I great energy. I hear you there. I wish I could dance with them, sir, here. <laughs> look like you do dancing a jig to me. Yeah, well, I do have to be careful being I am in wheels, sir. Don't want to run no one down No, here. you don't. I do, I do man. Want to smell something good? Can you smell? That's pretty, huh? Brandy. What's your name? Brandy. She's a beautiful girl, sir. Thank you. I'm good with her. Oh, nobody's... nobody's It's very interesting. Can you tell me a little bit about what you stand for? Yes, I have a website named Magnanimosity. Okay. My name is Jeff Sanchez. And uh, it's really not brain surgery. It's not rocket science. It's very common sense. That to uh, take one child and sexually mutilate them, subject them to sexism without, without their consent, and then talk about human rights, dignity, ego boundaries, individuality. It's, it's just an oxymoron. This it's is the horrible. stupidest thing you could ever imagine. How could you talk about human rights? How could you talk about dignity? You go about your when you premeditatedly sexually mutilate defense the children and then laugh about it and say it's cute. I'd never heard of it. Oh, yeah, it happens every day, routinely. Right here? In right, Los Angeles? right here every day. Every day. Only in the United States. The United States is the only place 20% of the population, 80% of the other population 
would never do think about doing another to their sons in a million years. Who's the only, not even a black widow. A black widow would not do that to her sons. A woman in the ghetto? A black widow. Oh, a spider. A spider. Okay. A circus monkey, yeah. a dog, an orangutan. So we occupy. Occupy. Get those up in the sky, occupy, occupy. To make a change, be as far, occupy, occupy. System needs to be realized, occupy, occupy. Tigers wanna bleed us, die, stone walls are big. Cut their cross and hit the sky. Occupy, occupy, occupy. We need more Linux for this guy. Occupy, occupy. He didn't have one. He didn't have five people. Not five people. Occupy is not even pumpkin pie. This is Count Smokula from Trauma Pictures fame. So you never know what celebrity is going to come down to the revolution. Power to the peaceful. Oh, yeah. oh that's cool. This is great. It's great. The uh, people out here doing a... Uh, a hard job for humanity. They are struggling, they are sacrificing themselves for the betterment of mankind. Man unkind, woman kind, woman unkind, and the whole shebang. So that's why we came down here. Uh, bring a little My baby. Hi, little baby. <laughs> How you doing? What dog, what dog is it? She's like part Yorkie, part Terrier. I got her from... I got her, uh, she was abandoned, so I got her. She was full of fleas and all torn up and weak. And I've had her for about a, only about a month and a half, and she jumps and she's so strong and happy, and she's really, really a good dog. Really a good dog. Oh, I'm glad you saved this dog. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad too. She's just... Look, you dig. Yep. She's an occupied dog. <laughs> Definitely had a hard life. How you doing? Good puppy. Such a good doggy. Yeah. You're a hit, Brandy. Name of the song? Occupy, occupy. I would dot you in your eye. I think it's way past due. Uh -huh. I think we need to take our democracy back and maybe change our electoral process. Um, I've always thought people should come first. And I, I'm all for people being rich. Sure. I'm not for greed. That's true. And I think it's time we spent money here instead of on the military industrial complex. I support the troops. I don't support what we're doing with them, and I don't support how we don't take care of them when they come home, and I don't support us poking our nose in all over the world. All right, thank you. I'm starting to like this occupied stuff. People are feeding me. And only some of the tents smell like pee. But on a serious note, there's, there's a lot of people in camp down here at City Hall. How you doing? Hey there! How are you today? Peace, brother. Peace to you. What do you think about all of this? I think this is what the American public is allowed to do in our Constitution. This is our right to protest. If I am hurting your grass, excuse me, but tough shit, because, friend, right across the street is DMV. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, DWP. Okay. 
who will pay you a dollar a square foot to remove the grass from your lawn. This is a desert, my friend. This is not grass heaven. Sure. The American public, us, you, me, is telling them people, stop. I'll give you two examples of one percenters. Okay. The people that live in Malibu who put up phony no parking signs so you can't get to the ocean. The people that live up by the Hollywood sign yes. put up bogus signs so tourists can't find the sign. That's your one percenters. I charge $55 an hour for interviews. Okay, check to the mirror. <laughs> Thanks, you Take did care, great. Fred. And I guess they'll realize who the, the ones that are truly in power when everyone decides to just give back what it is that they keep threatening to take. I'm one of the first ones of life that live as a minimalist. You can't trick me into buying a Lexus truck anymore. There's, yeah. there's no contentment there. What are you kidding me? Do I can't purchase that on a department store shelf. Is that a problem that we're such consumers in LA? Do you think that we need to stop consuming in order for this? Yeah, because honestly, that's actually one of the ways that people can learn to love each other as family units are supposed to and learn to share. I don't have to worry about not having nothing if we all got the same thing. Okay. Um, I recommend that the governments of planet Earth, and not just this one, adhere to the words spoken by all the citizens of their populations that they control currently. Take, it, take heed to the advice that we're giving, or just like the Monopoly game, we're just going to get up from the table and walk away from you. And if you've got no one to pull the trigger of your gun, and no one to push the red button of your machine for you, then you lose your power when nobody's showing up for work. When 99% of the world's population decides to leave people like Bank of America CEOs stuck in their own buildings vacant with no one but themselves to play around with whole buildings and companies like United Airlines unable to operate all their planes by themselves because they no longer have any airline pilots or police departments like the city of Los Angeles Police Department no longer having people to operate their vehicles and wear their guns for them because no one can afford to do so anymore. You can't keep starving everyone to death. It's the same old paradox of Wearing a hole in the sole of your shoe to the point that you're ready to cut your foot off instead. Me and you would. They appreciate it. Yeah. That is a bitch. And look at that. It's a life living form that I can breathe on it. It'll give me complete oxygen. Sure. That's, 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 that's nature. That's just, nothing could be better. Sure. That's just intertwining with me. Right. It gets me choked up too. I know. Well, that's because I rode the bike here. Oh, because you're. Yeah, I'm going to Oh my gosh. You'll be okay. Let's take a break here. Symbolized in the 20th century where 2000 means two being two times they were judged and asked again, who is it that you love? It is God, their Father Almighty. Right on. I kind of feel the same way. Look at that dog. That's a good point you made, especially the third point. I agree with the third point a little more than the first point, but we're still on the same page. Page 382. Right? That's it. Yeah.